told you I was going to scrape it and I did. Mixed up some more paint. We're going thicker. 70% glue, Elmer's glue oil and 30% water. I just mixed it up in my little jug there. So, um, right, let's go again. Now I've taken out two of those colours that were too similar and I've replaced one of them with an extra navy. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colours this time. Actually, I should have checked the consistency before I came out to say hi, shouldn't I? That was a bit thick. That one's good. That's a bit thick. That one's good. That's a bit thick. That's good. And that's good. Right, just a little bit of water in my navies and in the black because those are always the culprits, aren't they? I find. Hold it up here so I don't splash it everywhere. I should have checked this beforehand, but. I'll bring one of them up in a minute to show you the consistency. So as I said in the last video, colour choice is so important when you're doing pores. Make sure you've got enough contrast. Have your lights with your darks. Don't have medium, 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 light, dark, as in paint colours. Because it just doesn't work as nicely as having dark light, dark light. Medium, medium, medium together. It just it doesn't make nice cells. Okay. Um, oh, I was going to show you the consistency. Uh, this one you should be able to see on this one. It's a nice bright blue. I'm up a step, my little ladder here. Mound on a mound. Now, in saying that, if I lifted my stick up way up here, See the difference? I just take it basically level to the top of the cup, the end of the stick level to the top of the cup and you can see a mound because there's not much weight I guess pushing that paint down. So if I lift it up way up here, no you're not going to get a mound on a mound. So it's something to be aware of. Mound on a mound but only if you're lifting your stick about an inch off the surface. So. Another thing to think about, isn't it? Okay. Um, now I'm going to reduce the silicone. I'm just going to do three drops in each. You've got the treadmill silicone, 100% silicone. Three drops in each, not the black, not the white. And I'm going to mix it in properly this time, like I normally do. I don't know why. I don't know what, what I was thinking with the last pour, not to mix it in. <laughs> I always mix it in well. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Scrape the sides. I didn't have to do that one. Okay, hopefully that's enough. Right up. And this is a little bit tacky. I just scraped it, but oh, I've had an hour ago. It's a little bit tacky. Probably my cups are going to stick, but anyway, let's go. So, dark light, dark light, dark light. Well, this one's kind of light again. Um, and then back to the dark. But these two next to each other, I think, will be really pretty. Mm, yeah, not much more I can do with that. I'm a bit concerned about the black next to this dark one. But again, it, it has to go somewhere, doesn't it? Now, because I've got seven colours instead of eight, my layers will be a little bit thicker. I might just drizzle this one. Put my cups close by so that I can just go from one to the other. 
So my daughter just left with her new painting. And uh, she said she'd be back in two weeks to drop off her pets. And then she's going to Japan for two weeks. So that's exciting. She got some Japanese books, English to Japanese, to try and learn some of the language. So she seems keen. I learned French when I was in high school. I can't really speak very well at all. I can say a few sentences, but that's about it. I think you do these languages in school and then if you don't use them, you don't go to that country or come across anyone that speaks that language, you just lose the ability to speak another language, don't you? Well, I do anyway. Don't really remember much of French at all. So paint's nice and thick, it's sitting on top really well. They all seem to be the same consistency, which is lovely. Nice and creamy. So no flow troll in this. Shoe fly. No flow troll. Oh, the one that I did before this, I know it was thinner, but the white didn't crack. Did you notice? No splitting. No curdling from the white. Interesting. But it was a thinner mix, so... We'll see what happens in this one. This one's getting a bit, not as much paint, so let's change it over a bit. Uh, so anyway, this is a bit thicker now, so let's see if the white will split or not. Hopefully it won't. I did put a dash of water in the white when I was mixing it, just because I know that it's always a bit thicker than the others. it'll be all right maybe the higher content of glue maybe helps the cells or the paint stretch that little bit more without splitting maybe I don't have any extra paint I actually didn't work out how much you needed normally I'll sit down and calculate how much I need with seven cups but I didn't actually do it I just sort of went 60 grams of pouring medium and 60 grams of paint 120 times seven what's that going to be oh, about 800 isn't it it's 100 times seven is seven well that's going to be just a little bit over 800 Oh well, that's all right. Should have plenty then. Mm. Rather over than under. Although if you've got too much paint, I'll change this up and put this one next to the light one on that blue rather than having the two blues next to each other. Seems it's the last layer. If you've got too much paint on your surface, then you can't really stretch it out. You know, the middle gets sort of squished because you can't stretch your paint out. Whereas if you've got a little bit less paint, you can really go to town and stretch it. Put that on there and then I can finish it off with the white. And that should be really pretty. Cross fingers. Yeah, when I was getting the colours out for the last one, I was thinking, oh, these really don't go nicely together, but I didn't have any others. Well, that I wanted to use anyway. I've got like a bluey, purpley colour that I don't like and I never use. I should just throw it out because I never use it. I think it's called Ocean or something like that. It's not a pleasant colour. Well, I don't think it is anyway. I think if you want to do blues, do blues. If you want to do purple, do purple. No point doing a purpley blue colour. I just don't get it. Okay. I'll flip these babies. I'm 
gonna be a bit tough to, whoops, that's running away it's because that bar's in the middle there. I think these are getting a bit heavy. They've had two layers of paint on them. They're starting to, they are starting to sort of sink a bit. I'm gonna have to put something under there. folded up puppy piddle pads and I'll just pop that under there and this one under here like so where's that one needs to move over a touch starting to sag this canvas where the bar is there it's rising up and then it's sagging down radio now these are going to be a bit tricky to get up I think because they look at that it's stuck <laughs> okay I'll give that a, a minute I did spray my cups with silicone spray so uh, it shouldn't take too long for that paint to release. That one's already released. And I do want to get all that navy because the navy's on the bottom. There's no point me leaving, you know, that much paint in the bottom of the cup because that's all my navy. So I need that to come out. So down you come, navy. Right here. Let's see. I'll loosen these. Loosen these. There we go. And just flip over. Oh, how pretty is that? You're very pretty. Yes, you are. Just do that. I think I'll do the other one the other way. Let's loosen you over. mix obviously it doesn't spread as much so you really need to try and get as much of the paint out of the cup as you can now those are pretty cells all right let's turn you around white I probably shouldn't have done that <laughs> my white okay a little bit on this corner and a little bit on this corner and corners are covered messy business isn't it oh I forgot to show you my colors um, I'll torch and then I'll show you my colors there's a few bubbles I've just made up this paint so I haven't let it sit really quite high up. Yeah, just give that a minute and I can pop these huge bubbles that the torch didn't get because I wasn't so close. There's a caterpillar. I don't so much mind these ones. It's when I get that really long silicone worm that I have an issue with because when it stretches out it looks really disgusting. 
Um, but these, they're not so bad. When they stretch out, they just, you know, look like a little colony of cells. So they're not too bad. I will give it another torch in a minute. So we have got Peacock, which is my pale turquoise. And then, so that's the only turquoise in this one, which, as you can see, is, is plenty. Sky. Navy's Deep Space. And then we have the black. And this is the blue that I, I made. It's just global cool blue with some cobalt to take the purple tinge out that I don't like from the cool blue and some white. And as I said, I had two of the um, navies, the deep space in this one. Um, I, I like the contrast, as I said, I like the contrast between the light and the dark, so I needed to have those two dark colours. Um, now I want to torch a little bit more just in there and up here, and then that will be it. doing anything. Not sure if it's doing anything or not. I don't want to get too close because I don't want to have a huge, I don't want to have a big colony come up if I get too close. You know when you go like that with the torch and you get this massive cells popping up? I, I don't want that. I want them to be separated like this. And the only way you're going to get that is from a gentle overall heat from up high because if you go right down obviously you get really close and, and too much comes up oh there's another bubble let me get that bubble there we go okay now this cross fingers it's looking really good um, there's a couple of cells here where the white looks as if it's split I don't know if it's the white that's doing that or whether that's the navy that was doing that. They were both quite thick. And I had to add water to the navy, do you remember? So many bubbles in this. I really should let my paint sit. All right, shut up, Julie. Let's do this. Let's do it. So it's moving slower. I like how it's moving. Take your time. No need to rush. You're not going anywhere, are you? No need to rush. Oh, that's a gorgeous little cell there. I don't want to lose you. You're so cute with your little white ring. It's got a white ring and it's got a navy ring and then it's got turquoise in the middle. It's very cute. I could probably get away with less paint. See how the middle one's squishing? That was one of my other experiments I wanted to do. Um, see if I can get away with less paint. But if I take enough off the side, I might, he might even have to go. We'll see. We'll see what happens when I turn the canvas around and do the other way. Actually, this is pushing up underneath this petal pad. It's too thick. It's making a... I might just take it out. It's pushing up. There was a mound there. Okay. Off to the side. I've got my corner catcher, but I don't know if I'm going to, if I'll need it. We'll see how much paint I can get down there. See, I don't want to go over these edges just yet. I'd rather go over that corner. Whoops, in saying that, I've gone over the edge. There we go. I'll just go over there. That corner can stay as is for now. How pretty are these cells, you guys? Let's just hope I can keep them when I turn it around and tilt the other way. 
This is what happens when your mix is thicker. Your cells can stretch more without losing shape. They're much stronger. Now let's see if I can get to that little corner down there. I don't have to get all of it. It's already covered. So I don't mind not getting all of it. I can give it a bit of a torch and get a few little cells up in that corner. Okay, it's got a bit of a, a jiggle in it. Can't do much about that at the moment. I might be able to straighten it out just a touch. But a lot of people like a bit of movement in the pores. See, let's see how this, this cup has got that much space. This one's only got this much space. So I'm, I think I've got too much paint on here because I'm not able to, to stretch it as much. I think I'm going to get this guy off. So let's bring the weight back to the middle where he is. I want the paint there so that it can easily take him off. There's no point having the weight of the paint way up there if you want to move this bit of paint. I hope I haven't damaged that. But look how pretty that looks. And I've stretched it a lot, haven't I? Now, how am I going to get my lines to be straight again? I don't think I can. All right, let's just go side to side. If I've got a wobble in it, I've got a wobble in it, so be it. But I did want to get that awful looking creature off. So again, I don't want to go over these just yet because start stretching like this once the cell's gone over it drags the rest of it over so if you can not go over till the very end do your corners first oh, I really don't like how this middle bits zigzagging all right I'm gonna go over I guess that's something else that happens if if I have a cup drag this way and a cup drag that way and then I have the middle drag the opposite way I tend to get that I get this look so maybe it's better off just flipping each in the middle having their own circles and then tilting and then you don't have this issue Just seeing if I can bring some of these that are a bit stretched, bring them down a bit, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do any better than that. How's that? It's pretty. I got big cells and I cannot lie. <laughs> I'd got them, yes. And they are separate. In the hole they're separate. Look at that. That's gorgeous that's gorgeous it's just this bit but hey two out of three is not bad and I think if I had cut down on my paint like like I said I didn't really measure I probably got way too much on this pour some of the cups actually had 70 and 70 um, the navy I had a little bit left from the last pour so I just added that I'm gonna take these messy gloves off and then I can do my edges my corners and um, what can I do here? Let's put some of this up here. Cover my corners. They do have paint underneath anyway from the last pour, but I'll just put something there so that it's all the same. 
I'm just wondering if I should torch here because there's nothing really there. I'd have to come around and look at it the other way and see. Mm, I'll put a bit of paint here on the corner. And then now that, that corner's done. So this one needs some paint. Let's pop some paint there, put it at the top, let it run down on its own, make its own little pretty pattern. Don't stick the fingers in it. We'll rub it. Mm, let's put some of this. Need a bit more here actually. Get a big scoop. Just put that there. Doesn't all have to match terribly well. I mean, if you can match the colour as close as you can, that's a bonus. But if you can't, no one's going to look at your side and go, oh, that doesn't match. Do it again. Actually, I'm pretty happy with it. The more I'm looking at it, the more I'm thinking it doesn't. Um, I guess I don't really mind about that bit in the middle. Um, I think that's old canvas under there. What can I pot up, pop under there? Some of this. It's just the old canvas from earlier showing through. So it's a big difference, isn't it? Um, and having the extra navy has made a big difference. And, 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 there's no splitting. Nothing split. If I had made it this thick with my other mixture with the flow troll, for some reason it would have split. really I might leave it where it is and then just torch a couple of little areas there to match there if you're going to torch and get little ones in one area try and do a few just so that you've got that balance so that you've got your big cells your medium cells and then you've got your tiny little dots that popped up aren't they cute all right let me take you in for a close-up there's some really really pretty cells in here i'll take the camera down you know it's a good one when you get to see and the camera's taken down Okay, if I go this way, it's really pretty this little corner here, side I should say. Got some nice multicolored cells. Move up here. And you know, there's little baby ones on the right that are popping up. They'll continue to grow. They won't grow very big, but they'll still continue to grow. So I've got some black ones there. And then the blue here, oops, I'm in the shadow. The blue cells there have got the pale turquoise rings around them. Isn't that pretty? And the shading is really pretty too. Happy with that. And then here in the middle, I guess, where it's got a little bit squished, it's still okay. And, oops, I'm walking around the table. There we go. And the last section. These cells in here are really pretty as well. They're blue with the white rings. And you can see what I mean about having the the dark with the light because those blue cells with the white rings really stand out 
and then we've got those little baby cells at the top there that are just popping up to say hi. So there we go. Happy with that one. I won't scrape it. I promise. I'll keep it. And I probably will do another one with less paint just because I haven't been able to move that middle cup because there was too much in it. That's why it's gone squished. The two sides have stretched nicely and the middle had nowhere to go except off the edge and if you just go off the edge then they'll just elongate so you have to have enough space to let them stretch so less paint so I'll go again not now it's late it's time for dinner and um, have another go so much more experimenting to be done all right thanks for watching I'll see you for the next one bye for now